The canal is completely frozen and it's quite thick today. We was gonna try and cruise today, but we do miss cruising a lot and we kind of do want to cruise. So I don't know what to do because the weather. Why that's just so satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> We're going on a winter walk with Rufus and the canal's completely frozen. It is freezing outside. I got this new coat which have heating pads in the pockets and on the back. So you just put a power bank in like that and put that put that in the special pocket for it and then Then the red light comes on and you can change it to different heat settings and then the coat warms up we're going to put it in and see how long it lasts we don't know how much charge this power bank's got it might not last long but oh it's gone off already We were going to cruise today, but since the weather is freezing and the canal is frozen, we're having a subway, we're having a chilled out day. Got some YouTube on, got Taylor's aboard on, and we are chilling. Ducker's back out. He's been on a big holiday break. Back to work, Ducker. Good morning. The canal has finally thawed. We don't have any ice. So it's time for a majority of the day cruising. We haven't cruised since the 24th of December. So it's about four weeks. So we're so excited. We're just gonna try and get as far as we can and find a nice spot. Cause basically we have to keep moving from this spot. And we're just gonna bop in between. So. But first, we're just going to quickly fill it with water, empty the cassettes, and then we are off. Not a very nice day today, is it? All good, Captain? Yeah. I can tell we haven't moved in a while. Why? Colour was a little bit stiff. Oh, was it? Yeah. We've got some kind of dodgy manoeuvres to do. So we're currently facing this way and we need to get to the water point, which is here, but we need the front of our boat facing this way, the opposite way. So we're gonna have to spin, get the boat facing this way, fill it with water, and then spin again to go down the lock. First lock I've done in about a month. Let's see if I can remember how to do everything. <laughs> in five minutes. Right, just wait 
underneath the hatch, the metal hatch, we have this wooden thing. It's coming off. That's not good at all. Cruising for five minutes. <laughs> Come on. There were still a few sheets of ice remaining, but they were really thin so they didn't cause any problems. tonight we're just doing a tiktok live it's been really busy so thank you to anyone that joined from tiktok live if you aren't already following us on our tiktok sometimes we go live cruising and that's where we post our silly videos <laughs> this lock's got an entire reed thing in it loved it though i'm absolutely so happy to just be back cruising it feels so good um, and just have a nice change of scenery even though we're going to go back up to langley mill it just feels nice to be um to just see something new we found our spot potentially for the week it's got possibly a good solar but it doesn't really matter as much in the winter and the internet's pretty decent. There's a nice big old field. It's got Armco. And Armco. Rufus Armco's is gonna be happy with this field. <laughs> oh, you've got a big field. <gasps> get it in. Gotta get the chains out. It's been so long since we've had to get like the windless box open, the chains out. Got that fire on because it's freezing. We really need some new glass. We forgot to buy kindling before we left. Great. Yeah, we don't have any kindling. But at least the fire's on. Hopefully we can keep it warm until tomorrow when we can get some. Whew. Feels good. Feels cold. It's a Friday evening. I finished work for the week. The vlog's out and we thought we'll treat ourselves to a bit of a takeaway. So we found a pizza hut that was about a 25 minute walk away up a very steep hill. So we ordered that, we put it all through and then we walked quite far up a pretty substantial incline only to realise about three minutes away that we'd ordered it to one in, in a the different... centre of Nottingham. Yeah. We've ordered a collection. We've accidentally ordered it to the wrong pizza hut, so we're not going to be able to collect it. Sorry. We feel really bad, <laughs> but it happens. Oh, However, we found a local chip shop. <laughs> on the way back, <clears throat> we found a chip shop instead. So we've got loads of chips, and we've got some snacks, and we've got some ice cream. I think we went a bit overboard. Overboard. Get it? You're not having that. I was feeling unwell this morning, so I've been having a little lion. 
that's one of the downsides. Sometimes you're woken up very early by people just mowing the towpath and chopping down trees right outside the window. So loud. Hello, pretty swan. Don't worry, there's some for you guys. It is really windy today and the plan was to head back up towards Langley Mill because that's the only area where there's facilities on the stretch that we're on at the moment. But when it's really windy, you can't really cruise because you just don't have enough control over the boat. So we'll have to see how it goes, even if we just go a little way to find a winding hole and turn round and then do the rest tomorrow. The forecast says that it's not quite as windy tomorrow so fingers crossed but we need to get back up there at least on the weekend because obviously when I'm working during the week and it's dark by the time I'm finished we won't be able to go at any other time so hopefully the weather will improve a bit. Seeing as we can't move today because it's too windy, I'm going to tackle something that I've been meaning to get on with for quite some time. And that's to sort out our desk setup. So this hasn't really changed since we moved onto the boat and first got the desk. And as you can see underneath, it isn't the most efficient setup. And it's really annoying. And plus I've got a new socket to use instead, which has individual switches on all of the outlets so that we can turn stuff off more efficiently when we're not using it and hopefully save a bit of extra power. But the first job is disassembling all of this. That's gonna be annoying. On our boat we have this raised bit at the back so to make the best use of the space the desk sits on top of it and we've got these little blocks to keep it level. I need to lift it down now so I can get behind there. So there's a lot of cables. Hopefully get things a little bit more organized. I've also got these little clips so that they can be a bit tidier as well. Down here, under the desk, is where Amy's old computer is. And she was using this to stream from before we could afford a laptop. But everything's still plugged in. We still haven't completely sorted it, so we need to do that at some point, but it's just taking up space and sockets and it just needs sorting out, so I'm going to unplug it all now and then if we need to plug it in to sort it out, we can just do that separately. It's dusty down here, it's not very nice. Everything's out. Time to just give it a bit of a wipe down, get rid of all the dust. Give it a quick hoover behind there. I can't get the hoover out of the cupboard of many things. It's too many things. So I have to do it the manual way for now. It's gross. <laughs> Next job is to put in the different socket. The only one that we've got near here is behind the sofa. So I have to go behind all that, plug it in, run it down here. And then the plan is to mount it up here so that we can actually access it because before we've had it in a little gap behind there but it's a nightmare because you can't reach it at all so hopefully having it here means that we can turn sockets plug things in and out a lot easier i 
I need a couple of really small screws just so that I can hook the extension cable. Oh, in that's the, the drill. As that's you can it. see, we've got a lot of things that need a little bit of extra sorting. Nope, it's the sander. <laughs> the drill, I'm pretty sure, is way under there. So I found, after a fair bit of rummaging, I found a couple of screws, just really teeny tiny ones. And the idea is that I screw a couple of holes just into the underside and then I can hook this on and basically secure it to the underside. Which also makes it a little bit more dupe safe, which is always good. Well, it was kind of difficult to get it on, but it's on. And then so far the plan seems to be working. So all I need to do now is start plugging stuff back in. grand reveal. It looks the same as it was, which is hopefully a good thing. So. Oh, it does look way underneath, fresher though. Yeah, I've wiped everything down. Underneath should look better. Wow, yeah. We can switch out our laptop so easily. The mouse, keyboard, monitor, everything ready to go. And hopefully use less power as well by a tiny amount. Amazing. I I have turned on you. Well done! It's a Sunday morning, it's nice and sunny for once, and the wind looks like it's calmed right down. It's supposed to be bad again tomorrow, but we've got a day's worth of cruising to go back up to Langley Mills so we can use the facilities, and then we'll stay there for another probably a week or so at least. Yeah, so it should be a nice day of just sunny, chilled cruising. Well, oh yeah, you say chill, but we've got to go up about ten double locks. <laughs> so tiring. <sighs> but it should be nice and sunny at least. Yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of people out watching as well because yeah. of the weather. So that's extra pressure. So it's probably not going to be that nice at all. Yay! <laughs> Time to put everything on on charge, as per our usual routine when we cruise. And now, thanks to the best setup, that's a lot easier. Just about to set off, but Amy says that she spotted a really big bit of metal in the water, so I'm gonna go and check that out so I can go around it. It's just sticking straight up, so I'll have to try and go around it wide. Every Sunday, I have a Disney song stuck in my head. It's your fault, Tom. So I said, when she loved me. Downside to it being sunny in the winter is that the sun's really low. Very bright in the old eyes. Do we need sunglasses in January? Winding hole is supposed to be turning in, and I don't know if you can see, but it's very shallow, so I don't think we'll be able to. Like 
52 foot or 55 foot, we probably wouldn't have fit, so whew, that's looking. Top tip, if you're thinking of getting a boat, get the smallest boat you're comfortable with. Yes, yeah. Make your life easier. Make your life so much easier. See you in a couple of weeks, Spot. Just met another one of our lovely subscribers. Um, I'm really sorry, we forgot to get your name as well. We are really rubbish at getting people's names to say thank you. Because we're going to be doing this cruise a lot, we're making little names for it to make it exciting. This one's the trolley dash. In this bit, there's about three or four trolleys that you have to avoid. It's a lovely area. Just loads of trolleys. <laughs> This next landmark is now known as the Bubble Bath Bonanza because it's a soap factory and we thought that sounded fun. And it always smells really, really nice. When the lock, when you're just waiting for the lock to fill up, you just get a couple of minutes, just silence, peace and quiet. You just hear the water rushing, it's very nice. They look amazing. We ain't got any bread. Oh, oh, we're just gonna have to eat sausages. We're gonna look so weird. <laughs> One of the few continuous cruises we've come across. It's nice to see a friendly face. Super shallow. Bubbles. I think we've got an entire tree on the front of the boat. I don't know if my little lip, lip pick is going to be enough. Look at the size of that. Okay. It's a big boy, isn't it? again reverse I'm gonna try and bash it off at the side because it's just the last little bit stuck we're free it's really annoying sometimes when you got something stuck to the front of your boat because you're going along waving at everyone and it feels a bit like when you've got like a sticker stuck to your back and then you don't realize or like you've got some toilet roll stuck to your shoe and then you just feel really like retrospectively embarrassed. Gone for some pasta and sausages and mayo instead.
We always love going past this care home because they all come to the window and wave at you and it's so lovely. They all like, it's so happy. It makes my day. I've been doing all the locks and I'm so hot. So I am treating myself to a little chill on the front of the boat. Boys is driving me along, it looks nice. Everyone's like, oh, she's got the easy job. I've just done six double locks on my own. Huge special thanks to John and Nicola for the chips this week. Can't wait for our milk frother. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our first cruise in a month. If you want to see even more content, follow us on our socials at Boat Time UK.